Some parents are pushing for state lawmakers to ban books they believe are not appropriate for schools. They put books on a table outside the legislative building today that they believe are inappropriate. They're calling for stronger laws on what can and cannot be read in classrooms. WRO's Julian Grace is live downtown near the legislative building. But Julian, what is the message from this group? And Gerald, this group was very clear on their intentions. They want a new bill that would ban books that are obscene sexually and violently. And they say any schools that violate that should be penalized. It's time for a statewide solution. These speakers showed up to the podium ready to make a point. We're going to fight to protect our children. They wanted anyone with an earshot to hear them. These books are showing graphic sexual positions. NC Values Coalition is calling for a new bill that would ban the books you see on this table that the group considers obscene or violent. And the group wants penalties for schools that fail to remove the books. These books don't belong in school, period. It's all about parental rights. Um, so many things have been chipped away into interfering with the parent-child relationship. Thousands of signatures supporting the proposal arrived at House Speaker Tim Moore's office. The move comes after a complaint against Moore County Schools this week over the removal of books featuring gay parents. They are just simply um, taking action to implement this their interpretation of the law. PFLAG, Southern Pines and Public School Advocates filed the complaint with the U.S. Department of Education Office of Civil Rights, stating Moore County Schools is discriminating against the LGBTQ plus community. Having two moms or two dads isn't explicit in any way, shape or form. Now, we did receive some new information late this afternoon from Moore County Schools. They say they are aware of the complaint by PFLAG. They sent a statement that reads in part, Moore County Schools recognizes equality and rights of all persons and seeks to ensure that all students, teachers and administrators and other school employees respect the dignity, rights and deferring opinions of others. Beyond that, Gerald, they said they didn't have much more to say and they're waiting for their attorney to possibly say more. Gerald. All right, Julian Grace, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Julian.